Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. Today I'm going to be doing A5 Japanese Wagyu, something I've never cooked before, let alone had before. We're going to get started right here, right now. So what you see in front of you is a package from CrowdCal. We're going to talk about CrowdCal here in a few minutes, but uh, this came from the Kagoshima Farms in Japan. Let's take it, open it up, take a look inside and see what this state looks like. Oh my goodness, look at the insane marbling on that. That is crazy. This is a strip loin end is where this comes from. It's a nine ounce steak. It's been cut in Japanese style. That is roughly a half inch. All right, so let's talk about CrowdCal for a moment. CrowdCal is a web-based portal that puts you in touch with all these different farms, not just in Japan, not just Wagyu, but all kinds of beef from all kinds of farm. It's not just beef, it's also poultry. It's also seafood and they are your portal to get this stuff at a, a very reasonable cost compared to many other meat purveyors. You just gotta check it out. I get push notifications all the time through my phone when they release something for the first time or when something becomes available, and that is your cue to hit shop, jump on it, lock it in, because this stuff goes very fast. Check them out, and I'm telling you, if you are like a connoisseur of better meats, and tired of the stuff that you're getting at your local supermarket, your local box store, not knowing where it comes from or any of that, then crowd cow is the way to go. All right, so what you're seeing in front of you is just a, like a spring mix, just some greens, and uh, there's not much left because I just added it to the greens, but this is like an Asian soy-based vinaigrette that I put together. I did this yesterday to give the seasonings and the flavors time to marry. And I'll have in the description box the recipe for this. Very simple, but uh, very good. And this kind of vinaigrette type dressing, what that's going to do and what it pairs with the Wagyu is the fact that the vinegar is an acid and that's gonna help cut some of that fattiness and some of the richness from the Wagyu beef. So Wagyu is unlike any other beef. This fat will actually begin to melt at 77 degrees. It's just like butter. I mean, just the heat from your fingers can begin the melting of this. I'm feeling it right there. I feel it melting on my finger. Basically, we're just gonna salt this, and what I'm using, this is a cell grease. This is actually provided through CrowdCal, this little tin here. The cell grease, this is a, uh, a sea salt, a gray sea salt that is hand harvested in France. And I actually already have some of this. But since they sent that along with a steak, I'm going to be using what they sent. And you really don't need a lot. Just a little bit across the top. You want the beef flavor to really shine through. And I think this steak is probably this steak is probably thick enough to justify doing both sides. If it's any thinner, I'd probably just go one side. It's a really fine sea salt, very fine. Okay, that should be plenty. Now I am gonna add just a little bit of black pepper as well. Flip it over. Add black pepper to the side. That steak is a little too long to put in this skillet that I'm using, this stainless steel skillet. So I cut it in half and I just put it down in a dry skillet and look at all the fat that's rendering from this steak already. And all we're basically wanting to do is just sear each side. Almost there, not quite. All right, we're gonna flip this over. 
about 30 seconds on this side and that's all you're looking for you're looking to build a little bit of a crust and there are different ways that you can do this in Japanese fashion such as cutting these in one inch strips and doing these individually to where you can also brown your ends but I chose to go this way I'd rather see that pink when I do slice into these Let's see how we did. Let's cut into these steaks. And uh, I'm going to do it probably one inch strips. I know one thing that is going through like butter. Totally amazing. Let's see what we're looking like. Oh, yeah. These are very thin steaks, but I'm still getting that medium rare right in the middle. And it feels super, super tender. Let's go ahead and get all these cut. I'm going to plate this up, bring you right back. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you probably just noticed, there's two steaks laying here. I got my first steak in, and I'm like, you know what? That's not going to be enough to feed this army over here. And all it is is a tasting steak anyway, but I wanted at least two of them, so I ordered one more of these 9-ounce strip loin wagyu a5 so that's why you're seeing two of them all right now let's plate it up isn't that a beautiful sight nice medium rare and i'm telling you this stuff is just like ultra tender i could just tell by touching it so we're going to take a piece off here to the side and we're just going to give this a taste oh man yeah That just disintegrates in your mouth. God, that is good. It's exactly what they say it is. It's the best beef on planet Earth because of the extreme marbling. And it's not like any other fat on domestic animals like we have here in this country. This fat melts at the touch. Awesome, awesome. If you can ever find it in your budget to get some of this, I've already told you where to get this. And speaking of crowd cow one more time, let me show you real quick what I've got here. I've got two tri-tips. Going to be doing these tomorrow on my Santa Maria grill, my Lone Star Grill Santa Maria. And they're from two different farms. Let me show you what I got here. All right, now this one is from Glen Mary Farm in Rapidan, Virginia, which just happens to be the oldest farm in the United States. They also this is the farms that supply the White House, so that ought to tell you something about the quality of that. Now, the other tri-tip, it comes from uh, Wolf Farms. This is in Pennsylvania. That's what I'm telling you. You can get meat from all these different farms, but it's all distributed from one source, one portal called Crowd Cow. Check them out. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, smoke your ribs.